Good morning and welcome to Inside Tennessee. I'm your moderator, John Becker. Our guest this morning, the mayor of Knoxville, India Kincannon, eight months on the job. Where do we stand today? That is our topic of discussion. We welcome the mayor as well as our regular panelists, Don Bosch, who's a Democrat and happens to run his own law firm. Susan Richardson Williams runs her own PR firm and she is a Republican. We're glad to have you all with us. And Mayor, I'm gonna lead off and we'll get to your four priorities, hopefully throughout this conversation that you brought about in your first inaugural, uh, talking about public safety, healthy and connected neighborhoods, a clean and resilient future, thriving businesses and jobs. All those are important. I'm going to start with the elephant in the room, if not the blue whale in the room, and that is COVID-19. This is my Dow Jones industrial question, a snapshot of the moment we're in right now. Thumbs up or thumbs down on the physical health of the Knoxville community, and thumbs up or thumbs down, what's the trend line on the economic health of the Knoxville community? Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, the, t the pandemic's been a big issue in the first eight months of my administration, and I'm really, really proud of our community's response. I'm really grateful that the Board of Health adopted a face mask mandate in early July, and today we are seeing the results of people wearing their face masks, washing their hands, staying home when sick, and following those five core actions. So uh, I'm really pleased that in recent weeks, the the rate of increase in new cases has dropped below 100 per, per day. We're still seeing new cases, but the number of recoveries uh, is now greater than the number of active cases, and that's a really encouraging trend. But with school starting um, and UT students returning to campus, now's the time to uh, be even more vigilant about following those five core actions. So I, I'm encouraged by our progress, but we are, we're not out of the woods, and, and we can't let up. The Dow Jones arrow pointed up in that case. What about the economic health? What are you hearing from businesses uh, across our community? Well, um, it's been a mixed bag. Uh, some businesses are, are weathering the storm pretty pretty well, um, particularly um, you know grocery stores and other entities that uh, people are patronizing more than ever. Uh, it's been really really hard on our events industry on any, our musicians and live performance industry, on, on uh, restaurants and bars and, and you know, late night places have been hit really hard. So uh, we are working uh, with the Chamber of Commerce and with the state and federal officials to connect people to supports, um, you know, particularly businesses and also people whose income has been affected by the pandemic who may be at risk of uh, being evicted or not being able to make their payments to stay in their homes. So, uh, so I would say uh, the economic impact has been really hard, uh, but we have some resources in place and we're working hard to connect, uh, connect people to those resources. And just before Susan jumps in, Mayor, um, as far as the budget goes with the city, it sounds like the hit hasn't been quite as bad as some predicted, at least at the moment. Is that true? Yeah, well, I'm really fortunate that... Uh, we, I, my predecessors as mayor uh, built up a rainy day fund. And so when we adopted our budget back in uh, June, uh, we were able to, we projected some impact of the pandemic and we were able to bridge that gap and, and continue our normal, pretty much a status quo budget without having to do furloughs or anything like that. And since then, our projections on things like sales tax revenues have come in a little bit better than projected. So that's really good news, and I hope it keeps going that way. Yeah, um, Mayor, I'd like to ask you about a, a thing that's on everybody's mind, and that's the ballpark coming to, possibly coming to downtown. Uh, it's something that UT President Randy Boyd made a big announcement this past week, um, showed us some lovely photos, uh, lovely drawings of what could look like. Um, where are we on that as far as the city's uh, involvement? And is it something that you are supportive of at some point in the future? Well, the renderings are beautiful and I have had a chance to, to look at them and, and the conceptual ideas behind them uh, I'm very supportive of. Like so many uh, people have said, the devil's in the details, uh, but I really do think this is an opportunity uh, that could revitalize um, parts of town and, and serve as a, um, a catalyst for further investment, particularly as, as it spreads out into East Knoxville. So 
um, I'm, I'm encouraged, excited. Uh, I'm uh, happy to move forward and further discuss details. And the, my main role as mayor is to make sure that whatever project we do, the benefits to the public exceed the cost to the public. So uh, I think that it could be a mixed use development that's active, you know, 365 days a year, uh, that's integrated into the fabric of, of the community around it and uh, can help generate new jobs and, and more private investment. So there's a lot of potential. We have had zero negotiations, uh, but I'm certainly open-minded to further discussions. And I think a lot of Knoxvillians uh, would welcome something as long as it's, uh, you know, something that benefits the community uh, in, in addition to having the private investment. You're not so openly you, dismissive of public financing for that. That's something you would consider, Mayor? Is that what we understand? I'm, I'm open to that. I've seen it work well. I know that there's some big uh, pitfalls. In particular, there have been some cities that have invested a lot in, in big professional um, stadiums that are much bigger. Uh, this is a 7,000-person stadium is the proposal, and I've seen uh, really successfully done. And, you know, Dayton, Ohio, in, in Greenville, South Carolina, and in, in um, other other communities where the benefits, uh, it has worked as a catalyst and it has been a, a way to draw in uh, people. My number one priority is to make sure it's good for the people of Knoxville. And if it's good for Knoxville residents, then it can also serve as a magnet for visitors and people outside of Knoxville too. So uh, I'm encouraged, I'm, I, nothing's off the table. Um, but th we haven't talked any specifics right now. But I, I appreciate Randy Boyd's um, interest in it and uh, look forward to further discussions. Well, Susan, we're going to have to take a quick break. You're welcome to pick up on that topic or others as we come back on Inside Tennessee. We're back with Mayor India Kincannon right after this.